Listen, guys and gals, go touch your dreams, okay? There's cars you want, houses, places you want to go, um, anything that you dream of. Because I, I, I see a lot of the problem. Well, I say one of the problems that I have seen in humanity is the lack of the ability to dream. I'm a big dreamer. And I, and I think society has taught us as a culture to not respect the dreamer. And it gives the impression that we are um, indecisive and flighty and with no direction. And that's just not true. God is the biggest dreamer. You can't create anything without a dream. Dreams are visions. God is the vision. He's the vision guy. He works in dreams. He works in visions. So I'm created in his image. So I'm a dreamer. And I'm going to keep dreaming, you know. Joseph was a big dreamer. Look where that got him. Second to Pharaoh. Straight off of dreams, you know. Um, so I want to encourage everybody to go and dream. And go not only, not only dream, but go touch your dreams. Be able to be in it, to hear it, to smell it, to feel it, you know. And it's not just... Um, I'm not just talking about tangible things because I, I don't want to focus on the things because God says don't focus on all of that. He'll, he knows we need all these things, so he gives it to us. But I'm focused on wisdom and my eyes are set on him. So I focus on those things, things above. That's what I'm focused on. And I don't forget that I like this stuff. I like big houses. I like nice cars i like um good food i like traveling you know what i mean so all of those things come along with me those are things that are authentic to me um so that's why our dreams our individual dreams are so important you got to recognize what you like in order to go get what you what's yours you know so go dream and go touch your dreams nothing is unattainable for god's people remember that anything that that you are supposed to have that's coming from God, you're going to get it. God's people, you his kids, he's going to provide. So go out there and touch your dreams.